Hi everyone, welcome to the garden classroom. We have just brought some of this garlic inside that we just harvested and when I say inside I mean to uh, undercover here under our outdoor classroom. Uh, this is an open air classroom with lots of great air circulation and what we've done is we've set up some tables here and these are tables that have holes in them so lots of air circulation and on the top we've just put a folding table so these are all items that we had here at the garden we didn't go out and buy anything special for this the key to curing your garlic is air circulation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this garlic down with the tops still on, right down onto one of my shelves here. I want to leave all of those tops on, and here are some that we harvested and they're curing. We harvested these last week, and you can see those tops are starting to dry off. This is part of the curing of your garlic. You want to leave that top on, this whole stem is going to end up drying out and then after the curing is finished you'll know everything will be really brittle. Uh, it wouldn't be bending like this, it would actually be snapping. I would then cut that stem off, I would trim off my roots and then I would just very lightly, just with my fingers or maybe a really soft brush, I could just scrape off some of that soil and then your garlic is ready to be stored for the winter. So it's a really simple system. You can use a fan at home. You want to just make sure you're, you're curing your garlic someplace that's uh, dry with lots of air circulation. I just wanted to point out what we do here at uh, the PDS garden and at, at my home garden is we try and save garlic for the following year. And you can see I'm holding two bulbs here and they're very different in size. So what I'm probably going to do is choose, go through my garlic once they're fully cured and I'm going to pull out my nice big uh, cloves, bulbs of garlic and I'm going to save those for planting for the following year. And these smaller ones are the ones that we will eat. The longer you save your garlic from your own garden, uh, the more adapted this garlic will be to the growing conditions in your backyard garden or your school garden and the better it's going to get. So that's just another tip for growing garlic. 